Many of us have learned over the past few months to pull off school, a business meeting, or a family get-together over Zoom. But how do you do Shakespeare that way? One exceptional theater company is about to show you. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren has our Sunday Closer. In a world that can feel like it has all the makings of a Shakespeare play. I think we're in the darkest time of recent world history between COVID and the unrest. This show is going on. Hast thou so cracked and split my poor tongue in seven short years? We decided not to quit because we know that we are an important community. More than a decade ago, Dr. Melanie Andrews founded Inner City Shakespeare to give an underserved population in Los Angeles access to the arts. And I believe that if you don't hook kids on something good, somebody will hook them on something bad. They need to belong to somebody. Helena, I love thee by my life, I do. Every kid gets a costume. We may have 40 fairies, but every kid gets a costume. Then came COVID-19, two weeks into rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet. And while parting can be such sweet sorrow, Dr. Andrews knew keeping her cast together was more important than ever. So Zoom became their stage. Did you think when the pandemic first started that you would be able to continue and, and do this over Zoom? No, but I trusted them when they told us that we could. Since not everyone stayed in Los Angeles, they shipped props and costumes across the country and made do with the technology available. Marry my child. <laughs> Zoom is interesting. You have a virtual background, you have an actor in front of it. If you move really fast, your hands disappear. <laughs> your head disappears. And there were other challenges, like how on earth could Romeo and Juliet share a socially distanced kiss? So much harder than if you had been in person, right? Oh, yeah. This was <laughs> a lot more difficult. But their need for connection, even virtual, is greater than ever. I have people to talk to. I have things to work towards. I have something to do. And that is honestly one of the best things that you can get during these times. Dandre Massey, who plays Benvolio, recently lost his grandfather. What does this group give you through kind of personal strife? This group was my family and still is my family. Everybody in the group was there for me. Through pandemic and protests, the most important things about the program haven't changed. And so this gives them a sense of self-esteem and it makes people realize they deserve the same as everybody else. Where is Romeo? I saw you him today. A love story that would make even Shakespeare proud. For Sunday Today, Kristen Dahlgren.